Let me get Colossians 2 and 8. Let me get Colossians 2 and 8, man. A lot of y'all out here celebrating Mother's Day. Y'all celebrating pagan religion. The Roman Catholic Church is paganism. Right. Right. Read that for me right there. The book of Colossians, chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you. The Bible says, beware lest anybody spoil you. Spoil you with what? Read on. Through philosophy. Through what? Philosophy. Where did you learn, learn this Roman Catholic garbage? You learn it from the slave master. That's where you learn it. That's how people support this foolishness. Read it again. Through philosophy. To what? And vain deceit. And what? Vain deceit. The Roman Catholic Church is vain deceit. That's, That's what you all are following. Vain deceit. Read it again. Beware, lest any man spoil you. All you Negroes have been spoiled. When you have been spoiled in slavery, where did you learn this religion you are following? You learn it in slavery. You learn it from the slave master. We are here to tell you all repent and come out of these lies that you, have, you all have been taught in slavery. Read it again. Beware, lest any man spoil you. God says beware, lest any man spoil you. All of you have been spoiled. Look at that image on top of that. Look at that image on top of that right there. What's that? They are worshiping Isis. That's Isis, the queen of heaven. You understand? The Bible says what? Read it again. Beware. The Bible says beware. Lest any man spoil you. Lest any man spoil you. Through what? philosophy. To what? Through philosophy. Read on. And vain deceit. All of you have been spoiled. All of you have been lied to. You understand? Right. If you all keep worshipping the white image of Christ, you all keep worshipping the beast, you all will be. Christ is going to destroy you. That's right. Read it again. Beware, lest any man spoil you. So the Bible says, beware. Beware, lest any man spoil you. How have people been spoiled? How have people been spoiled in slavery? That's where you all been spoiled. Look, look who is leading them, the so-called white men. You all know what goes on in these Roman Catholic church, but are you all coming out of her? No, you are still up inside here. You are still giving them tithes. Our people is destroyed. You so-called blacks and Hispanics, you all need to come out of these lies that was taught to you by your slave master. Read it again. Beware, lest any man spoil you. The Bible says, beware lest anybody spoil you, you know what? Through philosophy. To what? Through philosophy. To what? Through philosophy. What you, when you follow the Roman Catholic Church, you are following philosophies. That's you know what? And vain deceit. And what? Vain deceit. And what? Vain deceit. It's all deceit. It's right. all deceit. Deceit to get you killed. Right. You understand? That's what that's what the whole Catholic Church is about. That's what Christianity is about. Right. Read on. After the tradition of Men. After what? After the tradition of men. The Roman, the Roman Catholic Church, Christianity, it was set up by the tradition of men. Right. That's, that's who set that up. Right. It was set up by the tradition of men. Right. Which man set up that? The so-called white man. Right. Your slave master. After what? After the tradition of men. After what? After the tradition of men. After the tradition of men, we don't. After the rudiments of the world. It's all the rudiments of the world. We don't. And not after Christ. And not after who? And not after Christ. And not after Christ. You following the Roman Catholic Church, you are not following after Christ. Right. You understand? You are not following after Christ. You are following the the doctrine of the Antichrist. Right. That's you right. are following the beast. That's who you are following. Read it again for me. Beware, lest any man spoil you. Beware is what? Lest any man spoil you. This all of you Negroes that's up in the Roman Catholic Church, you all have been spoiled. Right. The word spoil means to be destroyed. Right. You have been destroyed mentally. Right. You understand? You forgot your goal. Right. You understand? You have been destroyed with Christianity. Christianity have taught you to hate yourself. I love your slave master. Where did you learn this religion? You learned it from your slave master. Read on. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Read on. After the tradition of men. After the tradition of men. You brothers and sisters, we here to warn you. Right. We here to tell you, come out of home, my people. Right. Come out of the Christian church. You understand? Come out of these lies. 
That's what we are here to tell you. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 44, and verse 25. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, Ye and your wives have both spoken with your mouth and fulfilled with your head, saying, We will surely perform our vows that we have vowed to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven. To what? To burn incense to the Queen of Heaven. So who is the Queen of Heaven? Who is the Queen of Heaven? The Queen of Heaven is Isis. Right. You understand? The Queen of Heaven today is called, she's called Mother's Day. The mother of all living things. You understand? When you worship Mother's Day or you celebrate Mother's Day, you are in idolatry. Bring it out. You understand? That's why the Bible says what? In Colossians, that's why it says, read it again in Colossians. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Bring it out. Beware, lest any man spoil you. That's why in Colossians it says, beware, lest any man spoil you. To spoil you is to destroy you. Bring it out. Who are you, brothers and sisters, destroyed? You're following idols. Right. You are following, you are not following after Christ. Right. You understand? You all have been deceived in Christianity. Right. You all have been deceived in the Roman Catholic Church. Right. Right. You understand? Read it again. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. And vain deceit. Vain deceit is lying deceit, man. Right. Vain deceit is lying deceit. A lot of you all was lied to that's up in the Christian church. Bring it out. And a lot of you all see the evil, but you ain't saying nothing. You understand? Now I want you to get 2 Thessalonians um, 2 and 10. Bring it out. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 10. A lot of you all have been deceived in the Christian church. But right. as I said, we are here to warn you to come out of Christianity. That's right. Come out of these lies. Right. And worship the true God of Israel. Right. Read. The book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2 and verse 10. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness. The in Bible them. says what? For with all deceivableness and unrighteousness. The Bible says that you're going to be deceived in unrighteousness. Right. Who are you deceiving unrighteousness? <coughs> you're deceiving unrighteousness when you celebrate Mother's Day. Right. right. You celebrate Mother's Day, you are deceived in unrighteousness. That's right. You celebrate Christmas, you are deceived in unrighteousness. Right. <coughs> you worship the white image of Christ, and you got the worship Mary as, as the queen of heaven, you are in, you have been deceived in unrighteousness. Right. Read it again for me. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness, I would not, I would what? Unrighteousness. And with all deceivableness and unrighteousness, meaning deceivableness and sin. Bring it out. Okay, read on. In them that perish. So those of you all that is, have been deceived and sin, if you don't repent, God says you're going to perish. Bring it out. You're going to perish when the Roman Catholic Church is destroyed because Christ is coming back to destroy the false prophets. That's right. Christ is coming back to destroy the Roman Catholic Church. That's right. You understand? Because the Roman Catholic Church is based on lies. Right. You understand? Where did slavery start? For you so-called Negroes, where did slavery start? Slavery start with the Pope. Right. You understand? It's the Pope of Rome that instituted slavery. That's right. But yet I know that you brothers and sisters, you all up in the Christian church. You feel me? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.